Welcome into another modding tutorial where today we'll be going over how to make custom visors in Man 24. This year the visors are located inside of the characters folder inside of the temp inside of the data, so it's just the the um path that I have listed or that I'm clicked on currently. That's where all the visors are. And today I'm going to walk you guys through how me and C Hunt have been making our visor pack. So if any of you want to make your own, you can go ahead and do that. So getting right off, starting, um, what I usually do is go all the way to the bottom. And there is, um, cl very close to the bottom at least, there is a color in the vector parameters. So this color is the main color of the visor. And this is an XYZ format, so what, what you want to do is open up the Madden Colorizer, um, just to convert XYZ to RGB, and find a color that you want. Um, and for this, I'll just start with one of these other visors. And what you want to do is just find a color that you want for your visor. I think for this first one, I'll want to go with like a bluish purple. So you just get that, get the XYZ, and copy and paste them into here from the tool and then going through some of these other ones um, the, uh, what we usually do me and Z on is just go go into these uh, parameters and play around and see what they do um, but I know what some of them do so the ones I know what do they do I will edit here today and let you know so some of the things the transparency um, we figured out that one means that you will just see the color, zero means you won't see the color at all. So if you want to have like a solid blue visor, you'll want to turn the transparency all the way up to one. If you want it to be semi-transparent, you could do it at like 50% or 20% or you could just mess around and see what works there. Um, and then you also have the metalness. So later, I think uh, we'll try making a gold visor. So we'll be able to see what happens with that. And then there are also other colors um, available. So if you want to have a multicolor visor, uh, which we could try later, um, that's that's also a possibility. Just having it fade in different colors when the light hits in a different way. So for this one, we will just try these settings. Um, yep. And the second one is going to be a black visor with those different colors. So we'll see. We'll see what that one turns out like here in Man 24. In previous Mans, it gave a really cool effect, but I'm not exactly sure what it will show here today. And this will be our first test with these visors, so we'll do in the game real quick and load up here with Saquon Barkley. And go into the visor tab just to see. Now in Man 24, we have this new way to look at visors and uh, equipment, so it looks a lot better. Um, so yeah, that. That green one we made turned out pretty cool. It had a blue fade in it. And then we have that bluish purple, and we see we didn't really change any of the other colors. So the when it's not hitting it with the purple, it'll be hitting it with black. And that green one is actually the multicolor one that we tried to do. Um, so I don't know if something went wrong with that, but it's a pretty cool effect. So I think we're going to just leave that for this visor pack as it is. Um, but yeah, definitely not the intended result there, but it's always time, you know, if we want to go back and mess around with it, or if you guys want to go in and mess around and try to get a different look, that's something that you could just do pretty easily. Now going back in and let's see, yeah, whenever I close Spark, I, or close Man, I make sure I deal with Spark, um, because sometimes it's a little annoying. Um, now going into another one. Let's see, yeah, let's try to get a gold here. If we can find the right color here. There we go, that's in the right direction. Mm, it's yellow, not, not really the gold. I want, I want like a dark, like a 49ers gold almost. And I think something, something like this might work. Um, because when you turn the metalness up, it doesn't look exactly like that color. It uh, changes a little bit. If you've messed around with chrome and matte helmets, you'd uh, it's kind of the same effect as that when you're working with metal on 
just man's, Madden's um, vectors. Yep, so here I'm just going to make all of the different colors be the same gold, so that way no matter where light's hitting it, it's just that gold and you don't get any weird uh, effects. Uh, something that I definitely could do and might do in the future with a gold visor is have a brighter yellow as the highlight, and that's where, you know, color one, color two, color three, and just color. The, I could just throw a couple separate ones in there. And then we want to make sure that our metalness is turned all the way up as well. So we'll definitely try to find that transmittance. I don't know exactly what it does, so I'm not going to touch that right now. But yeah, make sure that that's turned up to one. Um, I, I definitely, I screwed up earlier and made the, made the transparency zero. Um, I don't know if that's going to be included in this or not, but we will see when we load up next time and look at these visors. Um, so we did those. These, these are going to be the gold ones. And then I think we're only going to do the Oakley visors for this pack, so you still have the option to have a clear smoke and regular visor. But I also want to add a red that has some transparency and some metal just so we can see what that looks like in game two. So just right off the bat, I'm going to add this color. Um, yeah, this color red, just all the colors, because I don't want light hitting it in a different way, just like the gold one we just did. And then I'll go into the transparency and the metalness and all that stuff and just set it like somewhere a little bit less than halfway so maybe we could see the face um, a little bit, but see how that goes. I also want to try turning down the smoothness a bit and seeing what that effect has. So we will try these on this one as well. Um, yeah, and the reflectance is a cool one to work with too. If you want to have a chrome look, you could turn that all the way up, and it's basically like a mirror. And if you want none of that, you could just turn it all the way down. And that doesn't... you could have that on any type of visor, so even if it doesn't seem like it would fit, you could have a matte visor with the reflectance all the way up. Um, it would it would technically work, but here in game again, yeah, we see that red visor we just added with the semi-transparency, semi-metalness. It looks like satin, um, so that's a pretty cool effect. I might send on out of future and yeah here you see um i screwed up with the gold look and accidentally made it fully transparent so it looks real weird there um but the other ones are still intact so the only thing we gotta do now is fix fix this gold one real quick and uh load back in the game so just going back to that gold visor looking for those transparency fields that i had set to zero because i thought that zero would make sense to have zero transparency would mean the visor would show in full but i guess it's the other way around um for whatever reason madden has just weird inputs like that for no reason it's kind of annoying um but yeah just do that and just make sure to take care of whatever pop-ups are coming out of spark just to keep that happy and then load back into game and check those out again And while I got you guys here, just if you want to see any more stuff with visors or any other type of um, equipment, let me know and I'll see what I can do. And here we see the gold visor. Uh, the lighting on this screen isn't really good, so we'll have to go into game to see the full effect with this one, but I think it should be what we're looking for. But yeah, just before going into game, I'm going to change yeah, Stefan Diggs' visor to the red one, Gabe Davis put a blue one on him, and I think we'll play the Jets so we could make those green visors look pretty cool. Yeah, so we'll, we'll throw the green one here on Sauce. That looks pretty sweet, and without further ado, we'll hop in the game. And just for your information... Um, I'll link the Discord server below where all of these visors will be able to be downloaded. And, um, yeah, if you have any questions about how to do this stuff, uh, just let me know in the comments and I'll make sure to answer those questions. And, yeah, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to see more Madden 24 modding content, just let me know what you want to see and I'll get working on it. Thanks. See you next time.